Hello my lovely fellow adopters, my name is Nairi and I'm running an adoption family support channel just for you. Whether you're a new adopter, experienced or looking into the process, whichever country you're in, there are plenty of things on my channel which will help and support you. So if you think that could be useful to you, please take the time to subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about survival tips for children that are first coming into adoption. The first section that I have for you is all about food and drink and there's no surprises there we know how much adopted children really rely on food and drink when they first come in because it means so much to them make sure you've got a wide range of healthy snacks and not so healthy snacks different things that you can try with your adopted child in between meals you can just grab them and it's easy and you already have a wide variety number two get frozen meals into the freezer pre-cook lots and lots of options and however much your freezer can take pop them in and then you and your partner or if it's just you can just quickly grab some meals out and defrost them and you don't have to worry about what you're going to have every night for a meal because it's going to be tiring when you have this child make sure you've got a wide range of squashes and juices and you've got milk in the house have someone ready for standby emergency shopping it could be a neighbor it could be a friend but you don't want to be panicking when you've run out of milk you'll be surprised how quickly you go through things so if you can have somebody ready there for you it's going to make life so much easier for you i think really a slow cooker for me has been a godsend when you're feeling that you are a little bit out of your depth you can just pop everything in the slow cooker early in the morning or the night before your meal's done and it's fresh and it's going to be delicious too have some takeaway menus ready for yourself and your partner for a treat but also if you just completely run out of all the other things you can pick up the phone and you can get a decent takeaway in why not you need to be able to spoil yourself sometimes if you've got pets especially a dog it would be really really handy if you could find somebody that could take on your pet for the first few weeks and give your pet some walks now i know you're not going to want to do that long term but if somebody can come in and just do one walk a day with your dog and just take the pressure off and maybe feed your pets and look after them that would be amazing as well a planned routine is always brilliant but of course what you're going to find is the child is going to come with a routine that the foster carer has likely put in place and it may not be exactly what you want to do but to start with it's probably best to go mainly with that routine so I suggest you write up the foster carers routine and um, that they've planned and I have another video on my channel all about asking the foster carer information about the child's routine and pop that on your fridge so that you know what that child does at what time normally and then everybody can follow that routine and then when you want to make tweaks and changes you can update it as you go along as you find your way as a family and you can then put in what you want to do and how you want to do it it's really really good to journal or diary things every day now this could just be simple logs about things that have happened every day so you can look back and you can see the progress that you've made with your adopted child because it can seem so intense in the beginning and if you're not getting much sleep or the meals aren't going quite very well or you're just feeling a little bit low which can happen after adoption then you can look back and think well actually I have made really good progress because in week one look what we were going through within that combined or separate keep a record of every wow moment that your child has made by way of photographs so that you can look back on that as well you won't be too distressed about missing anything because you'll be able to look back and see everything that happens in those first few weeks and few months every day take a breath of fresh air with your adopted child try to get out locally to local parks don't go too far just keep it simple local cafes parks open spaces just get some fresh air and get away from everything because you can analyze things too much in the early days and just getting away from it all for a short period of time is really really helpful for everybody in the family if it's possible to have extra help in the home i've already mentioned pets but any extra help in the home whatever form that takes then I would take it with open arms. Now that might be extra paid to help or it might just be a family member or friend who's willing to get involved. And after the first couple of weeks when the child is settling in, it may be useful to have someone that will come in and cook and clean and do some household chores for you. If it can be someone that the child can then bond with over time, as in it's a closer family member, then that's an advantage too. 
try to keep in touch with fellow adopters and I don't just mean online I think it's really important that you have real lasting relationships with fellow adopters who are probably prepared to share with you exactly what they're going through you know we all live in our own little bubble sometimes and we try to present the happy family life but you know every family has its problems and adoptive families have them too so try to find someone that you can really relate to that you can properly share and offload with and finally i do offer consultation you'll see my email in the description box so if you would like one-on-one -on -one consultation please get in touch with me but having said all that if you just think you're going to find my channel useful anyway then please take the time to subscribe and i'll see you on my other videos